Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Jacksonville History Show. I'm Harry Reagan. Later, we'll find out about uh, Hemming Park with Dr. Dr. Wayne Wood. But first, some information on genealogy, and we welcome our guest, Joel Warner, president of the Jacksonville Genealogical Society, and Ann Staley, director of the North Florida Genealogical Conference. Welcome to the History Show. Thank you very much for asking us. So uh, let's talk about uh, something that's coming up to give people uh, an opportunity to find out more about genealogy if they're interested, and uh, beginners as well as people who are really into it. Uh, it's called the North Florida Genealogical uh, Conference, and tell us a little bit about that. It's going to be held Saturday, March the 21st this year, uh, 8.45 to 4 o'clock p.m. Mm -hmm. at the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints on Landing Boulevard in Orange Park. We've got uh, 14 speakers who are going to be doing 20 lectures throughout the day. Uh, it will range from courthouse research, uh, brick wall type of research, uh, lectures on New Netherlands, which was New York, mm -hmm. uh, mitochondrial DNA, um, just topics for everybody. And this is for the um, a little bit past beginner to um, intermediate and going into advanced researchers. And for the beginners? Well, for the beginners, uh, we also will have people there who are very knowledgeable in how to get started in family history, genealogy. Mm -hmm. and, and people will have an opportunity to sit with them one-on-one -on -one and just spend some time getting started, understanding what the first steps are, mm -hmm. uh, finding out that people will find out what their goals are, what they want to accomplish in family history and genealogical research and, and get them going. And, and so really this is a good conference for anybody to attend who has an interest and may want to know some more. Yeah, and you don't have to be a public TV uh, uh, viewer to know that uh, a lot of people are interested in genealogy these days. Oh, he just found out a statistic that I had not heard. 24% mm -hmm. of the internet usage is for genealogical really? research purposes. Yeah. And that has um, changed things, the internet. Absolutely. In, in genealogy. Yes. Absolutely. In some cases, it's for the better, uh -huh. and in some cases, it's for the not so better. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, Talk sir. about both, then. Well, for the better, uh, research has, um, you, we're, we're being given a lot more data that we can access, uh, either free or um, a small fee. Um, but in the not so better, I think it has changed some of the people's concept of how research is done. They want it now, mm -hmm. and they want it, you know, instantaneously and correct. Mm. And it's not always instantaneously. You can't press a button for all your family history, uh, even though there are some, you know, websites that might, you know, sort of lead to that idea. Mm -hmm. There's still research that you have to do, and you have to go outside of the Internet to do it. And there'll be information at the conference to help people uh, go online and, and do some work. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. So um, each of you, tell me how you got into genealogy. Well, Go I basically ahead. started on the 1st of January, 1980. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine had gotten, a, her husband actually had gotten a, this is a story of my life type of book. And I decided I wanted to do that for uh, Christmas, for a Christmas present mm -hmm. that year. Yeah. And um, what is it? Uh, about 35 years later, I'm still working with genealogy and trying to find all those families. And you so, had no idea you were going to oh, get so no. immersed in it. No, yeah. no idea, yeah. no idea. I thought it was just going to be a year-long project, and but it's absolutely yeah. fascinating. Love it. And I guess that's one of the warnings you'd have to tell people. Uh, oh, yes. You can get, really get hooked. <laughs> it's very addictive. Yeah. Joel, how did you get well, started? Well, uh, uh, let me just finish that thought from my point of view and to say getting hooked on genealogy or family history it, there's a reason for that. And that's because it's very nourishing mm -hmm. to find out who your people are and, and what they've done. And, and some of them have done some things you may not want to shout from the rooftops. Oh. Uh, and, but others have, have done marvelous things. And even, in fact, of learning about what it just took people two generations ago, ten generations ago, to prosecute a, a, a life through this world. Uh, you gain a great appreciation for that, and you sort of get yourself more centered in the universe as mm -hmm. to what, what you're up to, and, and, and people do gain from that. I started because my grandmother was 
just very avid in this and and uh, she uh, she had 22 volumes of of uh, pedigree charts and family group sheets and histories that she had compiled by candlelight while she literally <laughs> while she raised 10 children on a uh, in a small place in in uh, rural rural America and and she got me going on it and and uh, I haven't been as diligent as she has but in my later years I found more time to really get very excited and and fill in some of the gaps that she couldn't quite conquer and speaking of the internet and mm -hmm. digitized records and so forth that weren't available to her while she was just writing to county courthouses and and uh, and churches in England and so forth, hoping that the, a register somewhere had a name for her. And so, that they would answer. And that they would answer. <laughs> Typically, how far into the family tree could someone expect to uh, go? How far back? Uh, depending on um, their ancestors mm -hmm. and the kind of records that were left. Um, like I've gotten back into the um, 1830s in Mobile whereas others have gotten back into the 1700s in Virginia, and others have gotten way back in England, depending on uh, the records and how prominent their ancestor was and what they did. Mm -hmm. So. And uh, what about the whole DNA uh, business? When you do a DNA test, you have to be psyched for not knowing what's going to come back. Mm -hmm. um, we have our image of what we think our lineage is, and that DNA just might show that it's not quite what you thought it was. But uh, DNA is really um, has advanced mm -hmm. genealogy, and so, but you have to use the DNA along with the documented um, data that you've already found or can find to help link those two because mm -hmm. the DNA doesn't say okay your ancestor was it just leads you back to those people mm -hmm. it also uh, will link you up with current cousins yes and presumably current cousins who are interested in genealogy research because they've also and, done a DNA test. And that's one of the really uh, yes. fun parts of this. Fun in, parts, in yes. fact, connecting uh, not only with the dead, but with the living. With the living. Yeah. Uh, a, a close friend uh, did the DNA test and started corresponding with a cousin he didn't know existed, and she, mm -hmm. they gave each other little bits of information, well, I'm in the South, well, I'm in Florida, well, I'm in Florida, well, I'm in North Florida, well, I'm in Jacksonville, mm -hmm. Florida. Turns out they're on the same faculty. <laughs> <laughs> And didn't know that they mm -hmm. were distant cousins, and and uh, they have shared a lot, and they make a nice team presentation on on DNA and and what you can find, and and they have found some fast fast friendship uh, with the cousins and sharing research now uh, of of people. And doing what y'all do, um, y you're able to help a lot of people, and that's a lot of fun yes. for you. Oh yes. To help people and see them yes. get excited. And Yes. So forth. Because I teach mm -hmm. uh, genealogy. We, uh, the Jacksonville Genealogical Society has two classes a year, and uh, they're held uh, normally at the Bartram Trail Library in St. John's County, and they're free. And um, the, the people that come, uh, they're so excited. And yeah. they teach me because th their questions I have to learn to, for them. So it's, it's always something that's new and exciting. Well, uh, apart from coming to the fifth annual North Florida Genealogy Conference, uh, March 21st, yeah. what, let's say in the meantime, before March 21st, what could someone start doing? What would they have in their home, in addition to the internet, mm -hmm. uh, that they might start looking at? Their relatives. Mm -hmm. They need to start talking to- Family Bible. A family Bible, but also talk to the living people. Mm -hmm. And start with themselves, going back one generation at a time, uh, pinpointing who, when, what, and where. And um, there are many sites that are free. Mm -hmm. um, they don't have to go to the, all, all the paid sites. The uh, familysearch.org website is a wonderful resource. They're putting a lot of digitized data up online, but also the card catalog will give them a lot of information. Uh, Joe Bine, B-E-I-N-E, -E, has a wonderful um, website for going into um, 
online databases, online things that are free. Some of them are cost, but he also leads a lot into the free ones. Uh, find a grave for uh, finding cemeteries and finding people buried there. That one is totally free, find a grave. You may spend some time in uh, cemeteries. Oh yes, yeah. definitely. Oh, you're gonna spend a lot of time yeah. in the cemeteries. <laughs> <laughs> um, Cindy Howells has a list called Cindy's List um, that uh, provides links to a lot of databases that are online. Linkpendium.com uh, is another uh, link to links. Mm. And the US Gen Web, which is one of the oldest, uh, older uh, websites that provides information on the states and the counties and what they provide. Mm -hmm. All of those are free that they can get started with. And uh, just go for it. Uh, making sure that you really understand that you need to document each generation going backwards. Mm -hmm. Don't just take some of these trees that are online and say, oh, that's my family and go with it. Mm -hmm. You gotta really make sure that that is, really is your family. Mm -hmm. Document it. Joel? The, the, the thing I'd like to underscore that she started with was relatives. Yes. And say that again because everybody tells us, oh, I meant to talk to Uncle Joe or Aunt Tilly um, before they died. And, and, and all these yeah. folks have great stories to tell you. It's not just dates and names and places. It's the stories. That, uh, that enrich you, and they can tell you some great stories, but you gotta get them started, you gotta prime the pump, and mm -hmm. can't just say, tell me a story, and it's a, what, what was your dad like, you know, or didn't you have a funny cousin that did some, and they start telling you stories, and it is really fun. Now the next no. generation, my children and grandchildren, yeah. are gonna have it a little easier because people of my age will have done some of the work. Yes. Which is which is terrific, right? Yes, it is. But one thing that he was talking about, the family stories, um, some of them you might have to take with a grain of salt. <laughs> um, there are those that like to embellish a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, but the story itself, write them down and then start proving them and making sure that that story really is true. There's usually a grain of truth in them. Mm -hmm. uh, you just have to uncover them sometimes. But the stories themselves, he has written several really good stories for our newsletter that uh, they would be lost because they're not written down somewhere. And apart from this conference coming up, there, there are uh, genealogy groups around Northeast oh, yes. Florida that you could go to anytime. Yes. Uh, uh, oh, the uh, Jacksonville Genealogical Society, we meet on the third Saturday of the month mm -hmm. at 1.30 at the Webb Weskinet Library. The, um, Southern Genealogist Exchange Society meets on the second month, usually at Quarry Road Library mm -hmm. um, at 10 o'clock. Uh, the Bartram Trail uh, Genealogy Group, uh, they meet in the genealogy, I mean in the um, library there at Bartram Trail. I think theirs is the second Saturday. I'm not positive about that. Um, and then Orange Park, mm -hmm. a library on, uh, off of 220. They have a genealogy group that meets, I think it's the first Monday um, in the evening. So there, there's a lot of genealogy groups around town. Okay, well, uh, Ann Staley, Joel Warner, thank you very much for being on the Jacksonville History Show. Oh, you're uh, welcome, thank, thank you. you. Very interesting uh, yeah. stuff on genealogy. Come back again. Thank you oh, very much. please. Thank and you. coming next on the Jacksonville History Show, Dr. Wayne Wood, and we'll be talking about Hemming Park.